So we created a thermopile here with alternating copper and iron contacts. Uh, it goes copper, iron, copper, iron, and each one of those contacts, half of them are inside the center of this little contraption, and some of them are on the outside ring of this contraption. So the idea is the ones in the center versus the ones in the outside ring have different temperatures. So there's a temperature differential between each of them. And uh, Zoe, let's, uh, I'll pick, let's, we have to find two points. Oh, you take that one up here, I'll take this one right here. Let's make sure we get good contact on those. And that went right down to zero. So we have good contact, and we have good contact. We have no temperature differential within this, we just took it out of the freezer. Now if I light this thing, Okay, so we should have the center contacts heating up and the outer contacts staying cold at least for a short period of time. And if Zoe and I touch these things, we now see, yep, we're about 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. All right, we got bad contact. If the numbers jump up, it means our contact is just bad. 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. So that's like 2.5 millivolts right there that we're getting from this little uh, contraption. 2.6, 2.9. So little tiny bit of bad contact and these numbers are going to jump. But now if I blow this candle up, and if I blow on this thing, you see the numbers start declining. 2.3, 2.2, 2 2.1, as the, uh, the inside here are cooling, or just if you were to leave the candle uh, lit long enough, you get a temperature differential would just even up, the whole thing would heat up, and you'd start getting uh, no voltage. So that is our homemade thermopile.